Yeah, I'm making a video to help some people that have snakes that have bad sheds. Ginger's uh, eyes aren't blue yet, but you can tell by her darkness that she's going to be shedding shortly. A lot of people think snakes are nippy and bitey when they're trying to shed because they're in pain or they're very overly sensitive. But the main reason that they're nippy and bitey when they're trying to shed is because their vision is greatly impaired, so they feel intimidated and they feel threatened. But yeah. So this is what I do I go to the dollar store buy a bottle of vitamin E gel caps and what you do is take one out snip the top off rub a little on your fingers and she's been trying to rub so that means she's getting ready to shed but you just get a bottle of vitamin E gel caps works wonders and then just snip the top and take a little bit out on your fingers and rub it on the front of her nose and the crest of her head and it'll help it soften the skin up so when she's ready to rub it off they don't rub as hard and they don't scratch themselves up and it helps loosen the skin up too yeah ginger's starting to rub really quite a bit so i'll probably put her back in her closure in a few minutes and see how shiny your head is oh, just stand right upside down yep she's trying to see the vitamin e softens the skin up so now she's ready to try and get it, her shed started. She's using my bedspread to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna rub it off on my bed. That's better for you than the floor in your house, like your enclosure, I guess. You gonna rub your skin off. Yeah, she's trying to get her shed started now since I put the vitamin E on it and softened it up. So I'll get it off, darn it. Here we go. Yeah, Ginger's trying to get her shed started on my bed since I just put the vitamin E on it. It softens it up and just start rubbing to try and get it to come let's start loose. There you go. Get that skin loose on your nose. That a curl. Now she's working to get her shed started because the vitamin E softened its skin up on her face. You gonna get it? Gonna get it off? It softens it skin up so it's not hard for them to get it off and they don't rub as bad and you don't have to tend to have to worry about them tearing their nose up trying to get a shed started yeah you got that greaser look going ginger you gonna use my hand no you're not gonna use my hand you're gonna go back and rub it on the bedspread some more huh yep here we go <laughs> you get to see it for close hand just uh Ginger's starting her shed on my bed because I put the vitamin E on her. She's trying to get her skin to break loose. Can't get it off? It won't come off? Can't get your shed started? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. I blew on her. Snakes do not like to be blown on. You know, if you've got a fan and you walk in front of a fan hole and a snake, they'll freak out. It just, it catches them off guard and corduroy jeans and see how they come in handy for you. Yeah, she's going to try and get her silly snake. You keep rubbing it off, I'm going to have to put some more on it. It soaks in though, so there we go. So we're going to get it going today. Yes, we are. The heck with this skin on my face. <laughs> I can't get it loose. Need some more vitamin E? Yeah. Want some more? That's more vitamin E on your nose. Huh? You stay over here. Oh, here we go. Rub, rub, rub. This is how snakes start their shed. Usually with the nose and roll it back on the face and the protective covers over the eyes come off with the head shed usually. Do you want some more vitamin E? You rub most of that off. No. Oh, okay. You don't go over there and do it. All right. That'll work. <laughs> this is my bedspread to get her shed started. That's because she's trying to shed. She's very defensive right now. There we go. Work that skin loose. <laughs> Got it yet? I'm going to get that skin off my nose today. I am. 
You might end up with cat hair stuck. You do. You got a piece of cat hair stuck to your head. There you go. <laughs> but now at least the skin on her face is soft, so it won't tear her nose up by rubbing on it. Hey, she got the bottom on her jaw loose. Look at that. Look at that skin. You got your skin loose. There you go. Yeah. There we go. We got it started. Very seldom you get to see this up this close first hand. She's working on it. She got it started. Now she's rubbing it off the end of her nose. And there we go. We got it started. One side's loose. But I, I, I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but I ever really totally praise vitamin E gel when it comes to snakes and helping them get their shed started. It's just great. Most times you don't even have to deal with a water soak or a warm soak if you use that to help them get it going. I hate seeing snakes with their faces all torn up where they rub and rub and rub trying to get their skin loose. Once I get the head cleared and the eye cap covers rolled back, I usually take over and sit and hold the skin and let them go. They move forward and I put pressure on the skin. They'll just crawl right out of it. So I assist them. I'm not really doing anything but holding the skin so they don't have to work so hard to get it off. And she's rubbing for all she's working now. But that's Ginger in the process of shedding. <laughs>